All right, so here we have an HP Elite book, 6930P. It's got a bad hard drive. I'm gonna run diagnostics to see if there's anything else wrong with it. I got a hard drive I can put in it. It's SAT, and I got a one terabyte SAT of hard drive that I can throw in here. Collected over the years. I hope it still works. It's, it's stored up here. There's been avalanches, and I've moved, and so it's been kicked around. Well, see if this thing even starts at all, and then see what error message it gives, and then see if I can go into BIOS. I'm thinking of maybe putting Windows 10 on here, but I gotta see what the RAM is that's on here. So, we'll see if this thing even works at all. So, it uh, originally loaded. Then it went back to the start screen. Now it's loading again. So it's probably just going to repeat and repeat and repeat. So, so yeah, obviously the drive is bad because I can't read the files. So here, rest the uh, external DVD drive making noises. So rather than sit here all day. I'll turn it off if it'll let me. Then go to the startup menu. Press the escape key for startup. I'm pressing it. Will it let me get in there? System information. So it's got four gigabytes of RAM currently installed. ROM date 2011. So here's all the information on it. Intel Core 2 Dual 2.53 gigahertz, four gigabytes of RAM. Suppose he's got Bluetooth, but who knows? Battery one. So it should run Windows 10. It's got enough RAM in it. I think it can go up to 8 gigabytes of RAM. So that's what I want. I'm gonna run diagnostics anyway just to see if there's anything else wrong with it other than the bad drive. Make sure nothing else got damaged. So we'll come back when we have some results on that. Alright, so I assume the hard drive is under here. Here's the drive here I'm going to put into it. It's one terabyte SATA. Certified refurbished by Amazon. I've had it for a few years. It's floating around. See if it's any good. Everything passed flying colors other than the audio, so. Let's see if we can do this. This stupid thing. Put another star drive under here. No. So it just lift up then. Yep. This looks like IDE. Yeah, everything I saw showed it was SATA. Never mind. I saw these pins. I thought it was IDE. Right, so it's an HGST brand. Um, six gigabytes. No, six gigabytes a second. With the capacity. Doesn't say. I'll have to Google it. Let me get this out of here, put the new one in, 
Tracked on my Windows 10 disk and see if I can put Windows 10 on this. Alright, replacement drive is in. All you have to do is uh, just remove this one, loosen this screw, use this to slide it back. Then to take the drive out, remove these three screws, put the new drive in, put the screws back in, and it slides back in. And it is 500 gigabytes, it does say right about here, I just couldn't see it because I was looking at the screen. But 500 gigabytes, this is a one terabyte. Hopefully it works. So, now let's put this cover back on. This screw actually requires like a star a bit, but I'm trying to get away with using the slotted. Let me mess with this a little bit. This drive's noisy. So let's see if we'll install this. Took long enough to get to this screen. Let's see if it will even install. Can I put Windows 10 on here? There's drivers for it. HP has drivers for this machine that for Windows 10, so we'll see. You can go up to six gigabytes of RAM. We'll skip this for now. Cause I don't have a key, and we'll see if it will fucking do something. Let's do ten home. Set. Now, there's no version of Windows already running because it's a fresh hard drive. So install Windows only. So do custom. The file settings and applications aren't moved. Upgrade. Install Windows and keep file settings and applications. Well, there's no current version of Windows on here, so we're going to go custom. 931 gigabytes free, drive zero, partition one. Why not? Oh, for fuck's sakes, here we go with this bullshit again. Alright, I was able to convert it from GPT to NTFS. This time it works no problem. So supposedly it's installing. See what happens. Going with uh, Windows 10 Home, 64 bit. Let's see what happens. So I'll come back once it's actually installed, if it installs, and then we'll figure out drivers if it doesn't do it automatically and getting the key and all that crap. Okay. We're at the uh, update page now. I well, went and turned off like settings and stuff that it asked for. So now at this part, seems like it might work. This question B: How is it, it going to automatically pull the drivers? Is it, will it automatically get a key like it did on the other computer? Or am I going to have to track those down? We will see. Alright, so the HP website didn't list drivers for Windows 10. So now I'm tempting driver pack online. 
not that it'll work. I tried going to the device mangler and searching for drivers, nothing came up. Let's see what this does. Windows is not activated, so I have to try and find a key online. So Who knows if this will work or not? It's not designed for Windows 10. I think Windows 7 is as high as it goes. I mean, most of the stuff works. Mouse and key touchpad thing here, this all works, the keypad works, display works. Whether the audio works or not, well I can just get like a USB sound card. Has already started. In order the drivers to get installed properly, it is important not to interrupt the installing process, nor turn off computer power. During installing I will be explaining you in details everything that will be going on, and will suggest you how to solve any issues if they arise. Alright, well the audio works. Now you need to complete all active software and disable your antivirus for the entire installing period. It is usually possible to do via menu in the right low corner of the screen. I don't have antivirus installed. Drivers installing is a low level process that engages system files, so antivirus can block installing. Don't worry, you won't stay without protection. Your antivirus will enable itself after reboot. Here is the list of the drivers that will be installed or updated. In addition, we will install driver utility set, system libraries, and a couple of useful software. But first I will explain what the driver utilities are required for. Yeah, we'll come back when she's done. Updated, but still free. Well, it's been sitting at 95 for a while now. Some stuff's installed. It overrides some stuff. You got, like, AIM AD installed. Like this thing. Click the AIM AD, whatever that is, and then some kind of 360 tool security. I'll probably I'll delete those later. Installed Opera. I guess restart the computer. I don't know. It's been sitting at 95 for a while, so I'm assuming everything's done. So now it says this, and you can tell some of the stuff it installed, so maybe it wasn't a real driver pack. You got Crone, Internet Start, 360 Total Security, which also includes some kind of like 360 Startup Booster to supposedly save the minute. So that might not have been the real driver pack website. Might have been fake. Well, if it's screwed up the computer, I'll just reinstall Windows. So I don't know what's going on right now. Let's see what goes on. Well, it's working. I deleted the 360, got rid of the Chrome. Let's get rid of Internet Start. I don't know if I can delete that or not. This comes up. I mean, it's a generic adapter. It's working, but maybe I'll try to find one for this. I have to dig around. It says the smart AC adapter connected will power your computer but potentially it'll reduce performance level. Let's see Opera 360 still says 360. Got this I start thing which I need to get rid of. Remove. Figure out how to get rid of this one. It didn't show up in the uh
because the internet starts not showing up. So I can't get rid of that one. I don't know what it does. I guess it's set for that one. It's like a shortcut, I guess. Eh. Whatever. Why you haven't stalled? None of your business. Right, so I'll set this. Google set that the home page. Let me mucky around with this for a little bit, then we'll see if YouTube works. If the audio still works. And basically I think that's pretty much it. Well this to start installing automatically. Microsoft.net framework 4.8. Don't know if this will work or not. So I found something on its own. This is my first time dealing with this stuff because when I put Windows on the other computer it automatically did all the drivers and stuff so this is my first time doing this. Two point oh but we already got the four point eight. So, I don't know. Let's see. Small changes can spark big results, like installing LED light bulbs. Now, audio works. Can't broadcast that too much because of Neil. Here's the work. So, the audio works, video works. So, I mean, everything's installed pretty much. The mouse pointer thing works, that works. For what I use it for. Just gotta set this up. Whenever it figures out that shit. But I think I'll wrap this up. It's working. Got Windows 10 on it. Just have to figure out how to activate it. If I want to activate it. I mean if I use it for I don't need to. So I think that's it.